Hey guys, welcome to the next game. This is Airblade, a er, hoverboarding extreme sports game made by Criterion, of all people. And with me on this admittedly short adventure, or at least for the first video, is Jamie the D. I am both amazed at how short this trip is, and a bit irritable. I mean, you bribed me for this. Yeah. <sighs> Jamie has told me several times that he does not like this game. So, you know, we're gonna have a little discussion during, you know, the gameplay. Talk about why he doesn't. And, you know, talking the two sides, we're gonna have that, that Mason Dixon Lincoln debate or whatever it's called. So, we're just gonna be jumping straight into story mode and jumping into this game's blurry, blurry cutscenes. Yay! So, here we go. Hey, what's going on? Look for the others and find the airbag. Uh. What the hell's going on? They must be after that package Oscar brought back from work. Well, let's go give it to No way, Dork. You go grab the package. It's under Oscar's bag. I'll meet you across town at my hideout. Why do I have to take the package? Because I'm doing the diversion, Ethan. Now go! Cortez, please, let's start up. Okay, set. back off, jackass. I just phoned the cops. Honey, I own the cops. Get her, boys. Yeah, boy. Ah. Get her! Yeah. Just get in the way. Oh, you shouldn't have. What the? Oh. Yes. Alright, so in Airblade, you are not limited to your wheels, which means you can float all around the place, which means you are floating all around the place. Unfortunately, this also means that the controls are floaty as fuck. Yeah. I, I'd like, you know, they, this game does have some positives. I'm very glad for some of the things it does, but there are, of course, some negatives. You know, some, some things that divide, uh... Oh, we I just don't... encountered another one. That, that was a bad example. But... The two of us, so... You don't have wheels, and so you're kind of floating everywhere, and I will say two things that Jamie is probably going to say. You turn way too fast, and you are way too slow. Yes. that That's definitely part of it. Uh, another part of it we only sort of saw. But, um... If you hit any wall at all, you, you will fall flat on your ass. Actually, I didn't... I didn't really... That didn't happen to me. If I hit a wall when I was doing a trick, of course, but if I just ran up against a wall, then no, I was fine. Also, limousine. Just limousine. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're destroying a limousine. I, I'm assuming because it belonged to that security head. Yeah. So, the way these levels are laid out is there's a bunch of, I guess, goals to do, and the game will prioritize one, like... You know, hit the four GDP members, and then after you do that, you know, go do the limousine, and then go do the snipers. And once you do a bunch of those, the game will have one big final kind of finale to the level. You do that, and you end, and you go on to the next one. Unfortunately, in later levels, it's very difficult, if not downright impossible, to do the goals in the order the game says. Yeah. Instead of just trying to do, like... You know, a bunch of goals, then maybe let the time limit run out, then go do some more. You have to do all the goals before the time limit runs out, but you get more time added for completing parts of them. So you have to do the entire level in one go-through. Yes. Which, here's the main thing I'm going to say about this game. If you know what you're doing, or even if you've seen a level done by someone else once, you will have no problem with it, but if you're going in blind, it's going to be very difficult. Extremely so. There is no middle ground. Yeah. I streamed the first time I tried to play this, and I finally bumbled through the end of the game after like two and a half hours, and with one level where I like barely beat it, I almost had to repeat another ten minute thing. Yeah, and... I deleted, um... I deleted my save, Set it up to record for the LP, beat this game in 45 minutes. Yeah, which leads on to the other thing, 
which is that this game, uh, once you know what you're doing, is hella short. Yeah. The problem being, you have to know what you're doing. You have to know what you're doing. Yeah. I'm very surprised, because Criterion's other games are, like, pretty fun of content. I'm Burnout, Burnout series. Oh, New God, Need yeah. for Speed, so Alan you know, talks about those, but this is the first level. We go through all of the stuff, and we're about to get another cutscene. Dude, tell me you were watching. I was pulling some bitchin' moves Come on, back there. hot dog. Let's get away from that chopper and find out what's going on. Yeah. The the slang in this is, well, the writing in general is pretty painful, even yeah. for an extreme sports game. So I did the level pretty quickly, but I didn't do a lot of tricks. The game ranks you, but the ranks don't mean anything. You can continue on. Whatever. Who were those guys? I imagine they're Oscar's former colleagues. He resigned from the GCP Corporation yesterday and took this little gadget as severance pay. Oscar hijacked the stick? No wonder the suits are so bummed. Yeah, well, nothing I hear about that corporation surprises me. GCP are a bunch of sleazy lowlifes who'd sell their own grandmothers if there was a profit margin involved. But can you help us, Naomi? You must know someone who could tell us where they've taken Oscar. Why would I know anyone from there? The place is like Nerd Central. You know everyone, Naomi. Okay, okay. I'll contact you when I find something. In the meantime, you guys should be careful. GCP practically runs this city. I guess it's time. Time to stick it to the man. Oh, I really head. hope that was ironic. So the plot of the game, if for some reason the the uh, the dialogue is too quiet to hear, which it kind of was. I played the whole stream without knowing what was going on because the game doesn't have subtitles. But Be the plot better of the for game, it. GCP, which is this giant corporation, which I guess kind of runs the city. Basically, it's a confusingly dystopian future. I say confusingly because it's supposed to be like, ah, uh, corporations, evil government, but then, like, there are police cars driving around not doing jack shit, and part of this actually looks pretty awesome. Yeah. But anyway, in a confusingly dystopian future, uh, one of the people working for GCP steals this airblade, which is technology created brings it back home to, I guess, his roommates, and then GCP comes looking for it again and kidnaps the guy back, and you're one of Oscar's roommates, a extremely rad dude, Ethan, who now needs to do random stuff. I mean, he doesn't need to do this. He's just willingly doing this stuff. To stick it to the man. Yeah, you're sticking it to the man and trying to get Oscar back. But look, I just rode on that police car. It's just going to be like, whatever, dude. And, um, by the way, uh, the reason they're going so hard after this airblade, it is revealed later. Yeah. But, uh, gonna spoil it right now. Oh no, they're going to use it for unspecified weapons technology. <laughs> yeah. Uh... They finally developed anti-grav technology, and they decided to put it into a hoverboard. Well, to be fair, that was Oscar, because, you know, he lived in a house full of skaters. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, actually, so the way that the airblade goes, or at least the other things that set it apart, is you have a boost meter at the top left which can either be used to give you a big boost or can be used to make you hover in the air for a limited time. Or you can use both of them to get a whole lot of air off of the ramps, and it actually is pretty cool to do that, but the game tutorial is awful and doesn't really tell you anything. Yeah. The tutorial is basically like, this is how you go forward, this is how you jump, this is how you grind, now you're done. Pretty much. Maybe one little thing on swinging around a pole, but not that you can turn around while swinging around a pole, which you're going to see you need to do like five times. Oh yeah, while we're at it, let's uh, let's talk about um, grabbing. Because grabbing uses the same button as tricking, doesn't it? Yeah, but I only had that problem happen once, and maybe I played it up a little too much because I was getting a little annoyed by that point, but otherwise it's not that big a problem to me. Oh, you've had that problem. A lot. Um, another problem I've had with it is uh, the collision with wires. Again, that happened to me once, which really pissed me off at the time. But uh. I remember losing the first level six times because of finicky hit detection. Hmm. The 
first level? Yeah. See, I think I'm gonna say I'm gonna say these levels are mostly positive, um, except for maybe one or two exceptions. Yeah. Which actually, when there's only six levels, that is. Uh, ugh. But you know, the yeah. levels are usually laid out with pretty clear, pretty good defined lines. It's obvious like the level designers kind of knew what system they were working with and what the player would want to do. Um, I'd consider those a positives, and even, like, again in the stream when I was struggling to do things in some of the levels, there was an... not obvious because I didn't discover it on my own, but there was a much easier way of doing everything. Yeah. No, I'll definitely grant you that. The the design of the levels is fine. I, I've definitely got no issue with the design of the levels. What I take issue with is control yeah. and uh, the aforementioned writing. Yeah. We don't. I don't even think about the writing. I think it's just one of those like, oh, someone brought their middle school kid in to write a to write a story. That's being very charitable because we we've we've both seen Hill Bike Boredom. We have. We we've both seen um, various we snowboarding games. We didn't need to worry about writing in those, except for the one that I'm pretty sure you're talking about. But yes, the one that you're pretty sure I'm talking about. <laughs> or Toxic Grind, maybe. Toxic Grind was a masterclass in video game story writing. Don't give excuse, us any excuse, crap. Excuse, excuse me a moment. I, I've, I, I've got a bit of an allergic bullshit reaction. Oh, you, you might want to get that checked. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's that's a third of the game. Those levels, those levels are actually pretty good. And it's about next video when things start to maybe fault a little. But we'll see that then. See you then. <laughs>